And there you have it, 100 miles or a century ride indoors. Why? Because it's snowing and hasn't stopped all day. Today I'm going to attempt something that I've never done before, a Grand Fondo inside. When you start an indoor cycling challenge, you have a lot of questions. How do you prepare when cycling 100 miles? Well, if you're new here, this is day 25 of 30, cycling indoors every single day for an average hour a day to build up to this challenge. What do you eat? What do you drink? When do you eat and drink during your 100 mile ride? A good rule of thumb is to get yourself through uh, a bottle of fluid per hour. How many calories do you think I'm gonna burn in 100 miles cycling inside? So the rules of this challenge are easy. Ride this on the trainer, connected to my computer, so you can follow along at home, showing you that I'm not just filming 100 miles, I'm actually recording it on Zwift. If you're familiar with Zwift, then you know about badges. If you're not, let me explain. What is the last video game you burn thousands of calories? Can't remember? Welcome to Zwift. When you first start out, you have the basic pretty much everything. Bib, jersey, shoes, everything you can think of to start cycling. It's about as basic as it comes. Everyone is flying by you and you have no idea why. Think of it as you're riding a commuter bike and everyone is flying by you like a total pro. Then when you spend as much time as I have on the bike, you can definitely pick up some speed. You obtain the Tron bike, you can pretty much buy whatever you want and you can change your kit period periodically to any shape or color. As you cycle throughout all the different worlds that Zwift has to offer, you'll join in on group rides, you'll beat some challenges, and you'll unlock some pretty sweet badges, kits, and bikes. Now that you're caught up, today is a badge hunt. Track down and obtain the elusive You're On Fire badge. Why has this taken me so long to obtain this? You have to cycle 25 times around the volcano circuit. Who wants to cycle 25 times around anything? It's pretty boring. By cycling 100 miles on a bike, I will also obtain the Century Badge and the Century Kit. If you're new here, I'm Jesse, and I am basically doing every cycling challenge you can think of inside. An hour 20 in, 1,000 calories. Two hours in, I'm dripping in sweat. I'm starting to think this wasn't such a good idea. Okay, just passed the circuit at 15th time, 1500 calories. Starting to slow down a little bit. It's starting to get a little uncomfortable. I'm wearing a chamois and my healthy AF shirts, but I am dripping in sweat. The windows are sweating, there's a puddle down below me, and this shirt is just soaked. I can almost see a reflection, so I may have to switch to my moisture wicking. Okay, this is much, much better. <laughs> this was sweaty here. Okay, three hours, 2,100 calories, 87K, and I just passed the 21 mark, I think. Four more to go to get this badge. As I pass four hours on the bike, I'm at 115 kilometers, 3,000 calories burned, And there you have it, 160.9 kilometers or 100 miles or a century ride indoors. I burned almost 4,000 calories and I've been on the bike for five hours and roughly about 45 minutes. Man, am I ever sore. So if you're wondering, is it hard to ride 160.9 kilometers indoors? The answer is yes, because my legs feel like they're on fire. So I'm gonna go stretch out I may just go do snow angels in the snow. 